Gate 2021 Civil Engineering Set 1 Question 17. Which of the following is a correct statement? So this is a multiple select question. The option A is back bearing of the line is equal to full bearing plus minus 180 degree. Option B is if the whole circle bearing of a line is 270 degree, its reduced bearing will be 90 degree northwest axis. Option C is boundary of water of a calm water pond will represent contour line and option D is in the case of fixed hair study or tachometry the stop intercept will be larger when the stop is held nearer to the observation point. Reference to relevant NPTEL courses or videos has been cited. Now coming to the useful data in compass survey the important term which we use is bearing. So bearing is horizontal angle measured with respect to north south line. So in north south line in, in compass survey is also termed as meridian line. So if you draw a, a figure here to understand to have a clear picture of what bearing is. So let's say this is east and this is our west direction and this is north and this is south. So let's say if, have, if we have a point P here. So if you need to find about the bearing of point P. So what we will do, we will simply find this angle theta P with respect to north or south direction, north or south line. So this angle will be bearing of point P. While measuring the bearing angle, we have two systems of bearing in compass survey. The first one is whole circle bearing and the second one is quadrantal system of bearing. As the name suggests, in whole circle bearing, we will be talking about one complete cycle. So here angle will vary from 0 to 360 degree. And in quadrantal system bearing, as the name suggests, here we will be taking about one quarter. So here the angle will vary from 0 to 90 degree. To have a clear picture, we can uh, draw a figure here. Let's say if this is east and this is west and this is north and this is south. So in whole circle bearing, first we'll talk about whole circle bearing. So in whole circle bearing, all the measurements are taken from north direction. So let's say if you have a point P here, so bearing of point P with respect to north will be theta P. And all the angles measured in whole circle bearing are in clockwise direction only. Let's say if you have a point Q here, so the bearing of point Q with respect to north direction in whole circle bearing will be theta Q. So here the angle will be somewhere between 180 to 270 degree as this is 90 degree. This is here the circle compress 180 degree. Here it will be 270 degree. Here it will be 360 degree. So here the bearing of point Q with respect to north will be theta Q which will be somewhere between 180 to 270 degree. Now talking about quadrantal system of bearing. In quadrantal system of bearing we will be talking about one quarter only. Let's say if this is north and this is south and this is east and this is west. In quadrantal system of bearing one exception is there that here the reference line is either N or either S and the angle measured might be clockwise or anticlockwise. Let's say if we have a point A here so bearing of point A will be taken from north because north is nearer to point A. We can't use south pole here because south is little far from the A so we will be using north. So the bearing of point A with respect to north pole will be theta A. If you want to write it in QSP in quadrantal system it will be N theta A east. So it will be written like that means angle theta A in between of north and east pole. Let's say if our point B is here. So if you need to find about the bearing of point B in QSB, it will be theta B. So here as you can see the angle is anti-clockwise. So in QSB it might be written as N theta B W. So it will be the bearing angle. Let's say if our point is here. Let's say if this there is a point C. So the bearing of point C will be taken from south direction. So its bearing will be Let's see if this angle is theta c. So its bearing will be south theta c w. So it will be written like that. So if we compare both of the system, we can easily see that uh, in WCV, the reference line is always n. And while in QSB, the reference line might be n or might, might be north or might be south pole. And the direction in whole circle bearing will always be clockwise. And the direction in QSB will be anti-clockwise or clockwise. And in WCV, the limits will be 0 to 360 degree and in QSV, the limit will be 0 to 90 degree. So this was about whole circle bearing and quadrantal system of bearing. Now coming to the second statements, here the measurements are taken in two directions. If the measurements are taken in the direction of traverse, it is termed as fold bearing. And if the measurements are taken in the direction opposite to the traverse, it is termed as back bearing. And the bearing will be measured from one station to the adjacent next station or adjacent previous station in back bearing. Let's say if we have a station A here and we have another station B here. So 
uh, the four bearing of line a b will be measured from one station to the other station and in the direction of traverse so let's say if this angle is theta one so we can write as theta one it will be the four bearing of line a b now as we know that the back bearing are always measured opposite to the traverse so if this is angle theta 2 from station b to station a so theta 2 will be back bearing of line a b and in the compass survey we also know that for any line forward bearing minus back bearing mod will be 180 degree let's say if forward bearing is coming greater than 180 degree so for it back bearing will be forward bearing minus 180 degree and if our forward bearing is less than 180 degree then the back bearing of any line will be 180 degree minus forward bearing so for any line forward bearing minus back bearing mod will be 180 degree now coming to the third statement tachometer is a special theodolite with three horizontal line in crosshair through which three different stop readings are taken we can take an example that in tachymetry there are three horizontal lines the upper layer is termed as upper stadia and the bottom line is termed as lower stadia or middle line is called axial here and the vertical line passing through all these three lines is called vertical here the difference between upper stadia and lower stadia is termed as stadia interval we show it by i now coming to the methodology part for example if we have kept our instrument tachymetry at some point and let's say at some distance d we have kept a leveling stop we will get three readings because tachymetry gives us three readings so let's say the three readings which we get are s1 s2 and s3 so the stop intercept s will be s1 minus s3 and we are observing the distance from at some point from our instrument the basic principle of tachymetry is to find out d we can get d by k into s plus c where k is multiplying constant and c is additive constant but in the question as we are given that as the observer moves towards the stop the stop intercept will decrease means if um, means for example we want to say that means if the d is decreasing the stop intercept will also decrease in the same manner now coming uh, to the final statement uh, which says about that uh, boundary of water of calm water will represent a contour line as we know that contour line represent points of equal elevations it is an imaginary line which represent points of equal elevation let's say we have a pond here in which the water is still at if we draw the projection of at any point because we know that in still water there won't be any much change in the elevation so if we draw the uh, projection of of the pond we will get a line contour of that pond which will be a straight line we can say because there isn't much change in the elevation so boundary of water of a calm water will represent a contour line uh, because the water is stable. now coming to the video solution part our first point was back bearing of a line is equal to four bearing plus minus 180 degree which is correct because we know that uh, four bearing minus back bearing is equals uh, 180 degree so we can write it this way also that back bearing is equals is equal to forward bearing plus minus 180 degree so the first statement is correct our second statement was about whole circle bearing of a line is 270 degree so we can write it this way that uh, if this is east this is west and this is north and this is south and we know that in whole circle bearing the reference line is north axis only so if the bearing of a line is 270 degree so it will be 270 degree so let's say the point a is here so the uh, bearing of point a is 270 degree but in qsp we know that the reference uh, line is either N or either S, whichever is nearer to the point. So let's say if the point is A here and uh, this is East and this is West, we can use either South or either North. But in the example, it has asked that North. So we will be using the reference line as N here. So our point A, so we will, uh, the bearing of point A will be 90 degree from North axis. So we can write it like this way, like North 90 degree west or we can write it this way also 90 degree north in qsp now coming to the third statement uh, we say that the boundary of water of a calm water pond will represent a contour line which is correct uh, as we discussed earlier and now coming to the fourth statement which is which says that in case of fixed hair stadia tachymetry the stop intercept will be larger it is wrong because it should be 
smaller because we are discussed that if d is decreasing the stop intercept will also decrease so if if the stop is held nearer to the observation point means that if the d is decreasing the stop intercept will also decrease uh, it, it won't increase so the last statement is wrong so option a b c are correct and option d is incorrect so a b c are the answer reference to the relevant nvtel courses or video has been cited Thank you.